Hi, this is Bruce Jones from MapsForDesign.com and welcome to another one of our how-to videos. Today we're going to talk a little bit about some of the techniques I use when I'm customizing maps and things that I talk to customers about to kind of help them uh, make the customizing process a little easier. So let's work with the map of Australia and a lot of today's tips will center around using the shift key. And the shift key is on your keyboard, it's right here, so make sure you want to use that. And the shift key gives you a lot of power when you're working with objects that have, uh, like a map, that have a lot of pieces to them. So here I have a map of Australia, and what I would like to do is change the color of all the land. I can do that very easily. I can either do it piece by piece, by clicking on it with the pointer and changing the color, or I can do them all at the same time. And if I hold down the shift key, I can select all the objects and I'm just going to go around the map, selecting them with my pointer. You notice the handles. And you'll see that I can just grab each one of them, like so. And now I have them all selected. And I can go to my drawing toolbar. And down here at the bottom, I have my paint bucket. And I'm going to just add some blue to it and fill it in. If for some reason I didn't want one of these uh, selected, it's like a toggle switch. I can just deselect it, like that and then we will make this a different color do something like so. Another very useful feature of the shift key comes when you're grouping and ungrouping. We have a lot of elements on the screen here and if I do a select all which is in my edit uh, pull down menu you'll see there's lots of pieces and it can get quite confusing. So being grouping and ungrouping I have found is a very useful technique to kind of keep your head with you about you when you are working with a map. So let's just take Western Australia and I'm going to just go in here and hold down my shift key and I'm going to just select all the little parts. Let's see if I can grab most of them here. It's all these little ones are tough sometimes and we're just going to go around and grab what we can. Okay, so I've grabbed most of them. I will now go on to, again into my drawing uh, toolbar and over here in the draw pop-up menu and I have group and I have now grouped together all the elements that are in uh, Western Australia and by holding the shift key down I was able to grab most of them. I can now move that piece around wherever it is I want. Very, very, very useful. Keep some sanity too. After you've customized an area, group it, lock it up. And you don't have to worry about sort of moving things by accident. Well, thank you for joining us today. This is a two-part video on some of our favorite tips for customizing maps. And uh, today we learned a little bit about the shift key and uh, use of grouping and ungrouping. Uh, part two will be on enlarging and reducing an object and um, use of the snap to grid. So um, make sure you check those out. And um, you can check out all of our maps. We have a world in U.S. and states and all that kind of stuff at uh, bjdesign.com or mapswithdesign.com. And you can also check out our blog. Here it is right here, masterdesign.com. And make sure you sign up right here. You can sit, put your name in there. That'll give you the latest tip. Um, keep you on our mailing list and uh, so we can get stuff to you and let you know what's going on. Um, so that's at masterdesign.com. That's the, that's the blog for our map. So uh, thank you again. And um, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.